Try all repairs and troubleshooting at your own risk. The LED strips that we are replacing are used in the TV models that we have listed on the screen. However, they may be used in other TV models as well. Be sure to match the important information on our product page when replacing LED strips to be sure the replacement strips are compatible with the originals. When replacing LED strips, you will have to remove the panel. Removing the panel can be very difficult. If your TV panel is damaged during the replacement process, you will have to get a replacement TV. I will start by removing the back cover. Disconnect the two ribbon cables from the TCON board and the two other wires from the IR sensor. Disconnect the bezel from the clips and then lift the bezel to remove it. Your TCON board may have a cover over it that will need to be removed before disconnecting the ribbon cables. Remove the screws that hold the panel brackets in place. After you have removed all of the screws for each bracket, you can remove the bracket. Slide the scan boards out and temporarily tape them to the panel. Once again, the TV panel is fragile. Be sure to be very cautious with the panel to be sure it does not crack or break. Use two thin pieces of plastic or something similar to get underneath the panel. Be sure not to touch the underside of the panel with your hands. If you do not have thin plastic sheets, you can try using a few sheets of printer paper on each side of the panel to lift and remove it. Lift it away from the TV and set it aside on a non-abrasive surface. Undo the clips on all sides holding the filter frame in place. There are two light filters. Tape them together in two of the corners and then lift them from the TV.
Then, squeeze the plastic clips on the risers in order to remove them. This TV has four of them. We can now remove the reflector. Disconnect the small cable on the distributor board and then remove the board. The LED strips are held in place by double-sided tape. Use a 5-in-1 tool or a putty knife to carefully remove the strips from the light case. After you have removed all of the LED strips, install the replacement distributor board and secure it to the light case with the screws. Also, be sure to connect the cable to the distributor board. In order to help your replacement LED strips adhere to the light case, it is recommended to use double-sided tape on the back side of each of the LED strips. Connect the LED strip to the distributor board and then adhere the strip to the light case. Then connect the second strip for that row. Be sure to use the correct strips in the correct places. These strips are labeled as R1, L1, R2, and L2. The R1 connects on the top strip to the distributor board and then connect L1 to that strip. And then R2 and L2 below that. There may also be labels on the light case as well to help guide you.
It is recommended to test the LEDs before reassembling the TV. Reinstall the reflector and the four riser clips to hold it in place. Put the light filters back in place and remove the tape securing them together. Reinstall the filter frame. And now reinstall the panel. Next, put the four panel brackets back in place and secure them with the screws. Before installing this panel bracket, remove the tape holding the scan boards to the panel and slide them back into place. Now we can reinstall the bezel Reconnect the two wires from the IR sensor and two ribbon cables from the TCON board
Check that all of the connectors are secure before placing the back cover on the TV. There you have it, we have shown how to replace the LEDs in this LG TV.